Karens, Kevins, they're everywhere. Heck, they're even at YouTube because of some weird reason yesterday's video got struck down temporarily. <laughs> it was just like, it was like 2.30 at like 1am, 2am my time, I get an email saying, oh, your video's been taken down. Like, what? Why? Ta I look at the timestamp they give me for it. It's literally the intro sequence where, and the timestamps directly on when someone is skating. What a joke. Welcome back to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. I'm your host, the Australian Idiot, and let's get into the clips. Here we have a racist Karen doing some very interesting things in a store and then decides to run away, pushes the guy, and attempts to run them over. Take that damn shirt off and leave. Okay, I don't care if you don't like my shirt. Are you kidding me? Are you really racist right now? I'm not saying a word. You are. No, you are. You want me to no, take my shirt off? I'm not saying a word. I'm not going to take my shirt off. Have a nice day. Oh, oh, oh here, Chris, you stay right here. What did you say? You heard me. You heard me. I'm just give You're me not, this no, shit. No. You stay Shut right up. here. Stay, you racist ass. You racist ass bitch. You racist ass bitch. You gonna say that in front of my daughter? You gonna say that in front of my daughter? Her mother's black. I don't care. You don't say that shit. Shut up. I wish you, you would touch me. Shut up. Call the police. Get You're not going to fucking hit head. me. On camera. Call the police, please. I'm not moving. Get she just hit me. Back me up, back into me. This is the sign of quick, I don't need to face my, I just did something stupid, I'm not facing the consequences of my actions, quick, let me move to my car, oh he's still following me, let me take the idea of pushing him away from me, oh he's still in my way, I'm just gonna hop in my car and I'm gonna go, oh he's standing behind my car, I'm just gonna reverse into him, like, just the, I, I, I seriously just want to question what's running through this person's head when they do these actions. Like, I get the, I, well, I don't, I actually don't get it. I don't get the point of being racist, but, you know, I can see that there's some logical firing happening there because it's just, you stuck in your old ways, your old hag. But the other part to it, the fact that, oh, I, I did something stupid and someone's annoyed at me, let's push them whilst they're recording me. Oh, they're not letting me go because they want to get the cops involved? Let me just reverse into them. Like, that's not going to help. Like, that's going to solve this problem in any way, shape, or form. Like, I just want to ask, what in the world is going through your mind in order to do something that stupid? Here we have some drunken road rage from a Karen. Can I hang up? Yes. She's getting out of the car again. You've reached 911 emergency for the city of Los Angeles. Do not hang up. Your call will be answered by the oh next available operator. Please remain on the line. If you hang up and call back, your call will be delayed further. Please this woman stay is on literally line. hitting my window right now. Okay, the cops over here. No no, the cops the cops Su llamada será contestada por la próxima operadora disponible. Por favor, permanezca en la línea. Si usted cuelga y vuelve a llamar, Su llamada se retrasará más. Por favor, quédese en they're la línea. They're going to get a DUI. I think they're drunk. They're drunk. She keeps, she's aggressive. When the operator answers, oh my be gosh, prepared. I can't believe this 911. What is with people just driving home themselves when they're drunk like this? Like, I, a genuine question. Why is it ever in anyone's good conscience to just do this? Like, isn't this something that we've completely, like, ostracized as society? Like, hey, no, don't do this. It makes you a horrible person. You probably might die or kill someone in your own actions. Because it is a well-known thing that anyone who ends up accidentally killing someone in their drunken driving, when they've come to the next day, they've, like, legitimately regretted everything about that night beforehand. I, I don't get why we, we still do... Like, whatever. Okay, moving on. 
she, I really am curious what happened beforehand to cause her to light up like this and want to get out of her car and go start knocking on someone else's window, trying to ask for a fight because that's going to solve all everyone's problems in this situation. I don't know. Someone insane, I guess. The lady behind the camera here is seven months pregnant, so she's gone to a doctor's clinic in order to get potentially be able to get some time off from work and things on those lines. The first person she saw, she wasn't exactly happy with their opinion of, so she's gone for a second opinion. But the other nurse here isn't exactly happy with that, so when she finds out about this, we have a very interesting conversation here. What were you thinking about when you got pregnant that you were not going to work? I'm just curious, because like, I've had three kids, I worked up until the second they were born. But am I you? Are you me? Do you know how I feel? Do you know yeah, how I feel? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. I'm interested to know what you think. I want to know your mindset. So when you got pregnant, what were you thinking about? I was, I was thinking about having a kid. I, I'm confused on where, where, you're, where you're going at. I'm confused too because you came in here and I did an assessment and I gave you my best medical advice. Uh huh. And okay. you didn't like that. But I said that I just wanted a note so I could take it easy. These, right. these next two months. And I'm seven months pregnant and I'm in fraud. pain. It's not fraud. If it, was, if it was fraud, the know. doctor wouldn't be getting me my note right now. Really? Yes. what I read on your chart isn't true. Okay. So I What's know on my fraud. chart that's not true? I read on your chart what isn't true. Because I'm the person who saw you and did the exam. Okay. So it's okay. You but, do you, so, but how do you know how I feel? How do you know how my body feels inside? Because I stuck my hand in there and checked your okay, cervix. Okay, you checked my cervix, but how do you know how my bones, how do you know how my, my, my body feels, my legs, my back? How do you know how that feels? So how do you know how my nausea feels? How do you know how my cramps feel? By such, and you're, okay. All right, so this, this is, this, this is the nurse practi practitioner. And look how she's hitting me. Look how she, look at it. Check her out. I'm Check it out. Police, call the police. And, and they're going to see how you just, how you just, what you just did. Call the police. She already called the police on me once because yes, I, I called her a weirdo. Yes, look at <laughs> this lady is oh crazy. Call the cops again. Call them. It's okay. Call I got you on video hitting me with that thing in your hand. Um, this? This is the Philly Pregnancy Center, guys. Yeah, okay, Tilly. You know, this just makes me glad that I live in a country that actually has a thing called maternity leave, even though I'm a man and will never actually most likely never make use of this. There is a thing called mom and dad leave where for like the final two, three weeks of the pregnancy, the partner can technically also go and leave to support the mother through the remainder of the pregnancy. But we're not talking about that. Here, she's just looking for the last two months to be able to just not be at work which is the equivalent of eight weeks. In America, from what I could look up, you do get 12 weeks of unpaid maternity leave. But obviously, all the hoops you have to jump through to even get that is complicated, and it's also, quote, unpaid. In Australia here, you get 20 weeks of paid maternity leave, and the hoops you have to go through in order to do it is very, very minimal. It's like, yep, cool, you're at, you know, there's roughly 100-ish days left. Of your pre there's like roughly, what... 18, 20 weeks left of your pregnancy, cool, you can go on maternity leave now if you want to, type deal, and no, and it's like, not something that's ever made to be this big of a deal. Like, it, it's like, one of those things, like, oh, what would you expect to happen when you get pregnant? Oh, to get time off work? Ha! Huh. Why, why would you get pregnant for that? It's like, who gets, why would you get, why would you do that when you're pregnant? You think that was what's going to happen when you get pregnant? It's like... Who would get pregnant just to get time off work? Heck, unpaid time off work. <laughs> Genuinely, like, like, just that hearing that was so stupid. And like, yes, you may have worked all the way up to basically you giving birth of multiple babies, but every person's pregnancy is different. Heck, a person who goes through multiple pregnancies, those pregnancies can be different. Like, like. <laughs> Like, genuinely ridiculous, that one, to be completely honest. And also, the reaction from the nurse, whom I'm assuming is a nurse, considering they're wearing that uniform, after she finds out that that person's been recording the entire conversation was funky, to say the least. This Karen's ordering an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and decides to uh, annoy the employee there about the dollar difference between a hot coffee and an iced coffee. Did he give me back my card? I'm, I'm just really trying to understand. So you mean to tell me a iced coffee and a medium hot coffee has a dollar difference, but one is just hot and one is just cold and there's no explanation for that? Here's your card. Ma'am, I'm asking you a question. Why is it a dollar more for an iced coffee? Do you know that? 
please stop filming me and here's your card. I'm asking you a question. Can you take your card, man? Can you answer my question? I answered your card. Your you didn't answer here. my card. My card's here. not a phone. You Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I'm going to call corporate, okay? Just know that. This is what they do to you at Dunkin' Donuts. That was so rude. I just had a question. You think the minimum wage worker is going to understand why things are being priced differently? Heck, there might not even be a genuine reason behind that. It just might be just because that's how Dunkin' Donuts or the franchise want to price items. That is not something they can control nor really understand because, you know, it's not their job to. Like, I'm not saying, oh, they're just bad, they don't actually care. Like, no, it's not their job to understand why there are price differences between products that really don't have that much of a difference outside it being hot or cold. Like, there's not much more to it than that. And also, if you... Look, it's more likely a hot coffee is going to be a little more expensive. In this situation, I don't know which one's meant to be the more expensive one. But the hot coffee requires a whole additional machine on top of the usual... I, I don't know. It's just... I'm just sitting here going like, why are you annoying the worker about this? They wouldn't have a clue. And then you're just going to sit there in the drive-thru after they've already told you to move on. Like, what was the point of that? Just move along. Move on with your day. It's a bit stupid. And of course, call corporate. Like, that's going to do anything. This subway worker has a complete and utter blowout against one of the co-workers because they're going to the toilet on a pretty regular basis because they're pregnant. You're not you gonna, say, I will ruin your phone. No, you're not then, you gonna, then you're going to pay for no, my I phone. Won't. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the recording. You're, the, you're going to pay for my phone. You can do it yourself. No, because I'm out of here. Then you're out of here. Punch your numbers and go home. If you mess up my phone... I'm not going to mess you, up your phone. You can stop recording me because you do not have my permission to record me, and I will sue you for it. I will press charges against you for it. Okay, go right on ahead because I have you all recording when you said that you was going to spray my phone and because mess it up. Because I told you to stop recording me and you won't, re won't stop recording me. I see, I, see, I see why, and I will be calling Nicole, and sure. I will be letting yeah. her know what is look, going on. Look, I'm calling her right now. Call her. Because this is ridiculous that yes, you had a whole attitude. Yes, it is ridiculous that you won't do your goddamn you work. Had, you, you had a whole attitude earlier today. Okay, because you, you spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. You don't play these games when Nicole is here, but you'll play them when I'm here. Now you're recording me because you think I'm going to come out my neck sideways at you, and I'm not. But I'm you, not but that you, stupid. But you already did. When no, you have when I you looked you out of your name? When you, when you raised your voice at me, you already did. Sideways. Every 15 minutes in the bathroom. And then That's because I'm, pre I'm pregnant, Lester. A pregnancy is not an excuse. I'm pregnant, so of course I'm going to go back and forth to the bathroom. I'm sorry, Nicole. I quit. Okay. Bye. Stop recording me. No. Then go do some goddamn work. No, I already... I already... I already clocked out. Then get out of my line. No, nope, I'm, wait, I'm waiting if for the code. If you're not on the clock, you are not allowed behind that line. I'm waiting for the code. If you're not on the clock doing work, you are not allowed behind this line. I am so sorry. Whatever soap you're getting, I will pay for it. I'm waiting for the code. Because I didn't... You you've been... But you've been... Line. But you've been throwing stuff all day. I haven't been throwing stuff at you. I've been throwing stuff out of my way so I can work around you. So, so when you got mad because Nicole and them did not prep, you did not throw no when pots. This is in the sink, how is that a bad thing, huh? You threw pots and pans it because you got mad because nobody prepped the food. Because I have to do everybody's job. But that don't mean don't for you. That you don't mean for you job. to throw pots and pans in front of customers. I didn't throw them in, the cus in front of the customers. I was in the back and I threw them. In but the you sink. still, but you still threw them, and why there was customers on the out there? Uh huh. I sure, but I was in the back. They couldn't see it. All they did was hear it. For all they know, this is foul. And I'm waiting, because I'm not about to if lose my... you're not on my clock... I'm not about to lose my job for if you. If you're not on the clock, get out from behind the line. Because you're not doing your job. I've been you do that to do your job. That's I've been doing, doing I've been doing my I've been doing my job all you day. You've not been doing your job. Yes, I have been doing my job, Lester. No, I, I've wiped down the tables. 
And I was wow. about to I wow. and, and I you was about like to see. Down tables. Would you like a cookie? The, only, like the only reason why you won't let me do my job is because you want your name on every no, last no, 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 piece no. of paper. I've asked you to either clean or work with customers. And as soon as two or three customers... No, you told me, you told me to work with the customers. and I Because I was doing the cleaning because you don't know what to do. Because you had seizures when you worked here the last time and it affected your memory. You're using all of these excuses to make it to where you were in the clear. But you're not in the clear. But that still, that still didn't give you the right... To sit up here. Telling her business in front of everybody? Dang. I, so, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. So you want me, so you want me to sit here and hold my piss and make my bladder hurt? I want you to do your job. You're not doing your job. Going to the bathroom So you take 10 minutes to be a female. I guarantee you I can do it better than you. Yeah, I'll be a whole lot better of a woman than you ever could. The f <laughs> I I just can't get over that last comment. Like I had what I wanted to say all set in mind, and then I just hear the last bit of this clip, and I would just lose it because it's just like, how dumb are you? Have you never ha tried one of those machines that simulate female cramps? You've not tried that before? I've never tried it before, but I've seen other people try it, and from what I can understand, it's like being kicked in the balls. Almost. Just on a more regular basis, so in theory, it's worse. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, if your pregnancy is such a disability to your ability to work, then why don't you don't come to work then? It's almost like you guys live in America, where a, a country that has no such thing as paid leave for people who are pregnant. So if they're in a place where they're desperate for money, they kind of have to keep going to work, even though they're in a condition where they really shouldn't be. But you know what? That's capitalism, baby. Wait, hold on. Every other developed nation has maternity leave. That's also capitalism and democracy. That's capitalism, baby. <laughs> I'm laughing at this, but it's absolutely ridiculous that America doesn't have paid maternity leave. Like, I just look at most other countries have it. America, eh, you can ha you are uh, you can have leave for maternity leave, but it's only going to be unpaid. So, uh, good luck. Hopefully, you save some money in a time and place where uh, saving money is very difficult because you know prices are only going upwards. Prior to the recording of this clip, a very many of different things happen. According, the story goes that the guy who's got the long hair, his dog, as well as the person with the short hair's dog, had a little altercation. Apparently, the dog of the short hair man decided to start humping on the dog of the long haired man. Anyway, in response to that, apparently the long haired man may or may not have kicked the dog in order to stop them from humping, which is a very interesting choice, might I add. We'll talk about that later. And after that, the girlfriend of the short hair man decides to start having a screaming match with the guy with the long hair. Here's a clip. You don't have any lawful right to do that. I do, and I'm gonna call my sister right now because she's a lawyer. Okay, that's cool. Okay. okay. Um. So, uh, do you have an ETA or not? 
Let's go. Come on. She's recording me. Hey, there's this girl at the dog park. Come over here. She's recording me um, because they're upset. All right, because so this, guy this lady's calling up multiple people and just trying to get them out. I am. I'm calling the cops right now. I already called the cops. Okay, good. So you Whoa. killed my dog. So your dog was attacking mine and jumping on me. They didn't attack me. your dog. I picked hey. it. Hey, hey, look, look. I think that we can all just sit at this right now and just go well, our separate ways. Stop you, right, you stop recording me right now. Hey, stop, stop yelling. The only stop recording hey, right hey, now. Go. Hey. Over you kicking my dog. Stop, bro. Let's go. Yeah. The only reason we have this is to keep us both honest, okay? You know you're not going to have nothing because he didn't care. He didn't attack this dog. Hey, he he, hey, he would have been attacking listen, you right now. Listen, he would have hey. been attacking you right now. Hey, hey, hey. We're not interested. We're not interested in fighting. If he was attacking he would have been attacking you right now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Can we just go? Can you stop recording me? Just go. No, we're you doing it to keep will. to keep stop us all on. Stop recording me. You're stop being recorded. All right. Come Goodbye. Get your dog away if he's such a bitch. I just did. Let's oh, let's calling your dog. Come here, please. You can get away with kicking. Out let's go. Please go. We don't want to fight. We don't want to have an argument. Do you go shut that door? Please. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was my dog. Didn't mean to go grab you. This dumb guy right here kicked my dog at the dog park. Do not come. I will be posting this on San Marcos Daily right now. Bye. Don't worry. Your sister's a lawyer. I can't wait to hear that phone conversation where you call her up and tell her this incident and she just laughs back in your face. Because I don't know about you, you're in a dog park, you're out in public, there is literally zero, zero sum, no expectation of any form of privacy. If you get recorded out in public, there is jack all you can do about that. Once that clip's there and recorded, they can post it online, and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. And hey, apparently you were recording too. Where did you post it? Because I've not seen the clip. This clip hasn't circulated anywhere. You'd think that, like, even if you're in the wrong in this, even though you're in the wrong in this incident, your clip would still do very well because it's hilarious to watch from your point of view. You do something ridiculously stupid. I don't know. As I said, I'm not 100% sure how to feel about the man who kicked the dog, who was humping his dog. I, I don't know if that would have been the right approach to this, but at the same time, if the owner of the dog humping your dog's not doing anything about the fact that they're humping your dog, I suppose at a certain point you've got to take it into your own hands and there is really only so many things you can do that would also not potentially put you in any form of danger. So, yeah, that's intriguing. But I, uh, this was crazy. Here you go, a pair of Karens who decide to go into their neighbor's yard and then jump into their swimming pool without the permission. <laughs> you can swim still, right? I said you can swim still, right? Yes, it's a brilliant idea to walk into your neighbor's backyard without their permission and then jump into their pool and swim around while still wearing all of your clothes. Not even any form of swimwear, you just jump in with your ordinary clothes because that's totally not going to cause any problems whatsoever. Oh, wait, there's a police officer coming up to the backyard with them. Oh, well, mm. ah, that sounds like a bit of a problem. Oopsie daisies, who would have known? Hmm. I do know the decision made here though, just to go into your neighbor's backyard to go for a swim. I can understand it gets really hot some days and your neighbor's got a pool, but you know, maybe if you just ask permission if you can use it if you're actually one of their neighbors. I, I'm sure in most neighborhoods, I know in some previous neighborhoods I've been where one of the people had a pool, so they do like, hey, 
If you want to come around like once a week or something, you can come around and make use of the pool on a stinking hot day if you so feel like it as long as we're here. Yada, yada, yada for the direct neighbors. Not just walk into their backyard without their permission, dumping into the pool because you're to you're definitely going to get in a bit of trouble for that because, you know, that's trespassing, you know, this is what it is. Like here we have a Kevin police officer who decided to illegally look through someone else's car. When he gets caught out, rather than uh, accepting that he did something wrong, he just drives away. I checked on your car earlier. Um, I thought somebody was out there. Yeah, I just, I didn't know if you were homeless or just that was traveling. Okay. Well, let me get your name because I, I, thought, I thought a cop did go into my car and I just was looking yeah, at I, I know you pictures. you you got in there and moved the car let me get your name because I I suspected that what was oh, just your name dude this is this is gonna get worse for you I'd like to say yes, because driving away from the situation where you've clearly done something you shouldn't have is totally going to help the problem that this is going to become later on, but then I also sit here and think that uh, what I've seen over the past few years when it comes to USA and their police system, uh, it's a very high likelihood that this guy will never be held, will never be punished for this action here because it doesn't matter at the end of the day to, to these police officers. They probably won't care. Oh, you just looked so through someone's car and didn't find anything and they want to get you in trouble for it? Oh. Okay, cool. Moving along, it's done nothing. You haven't gotten anyone. You haven't charged them with anything. You didn't do anything wrong, so it's perfectly fine. No problems with illegally searching someone's car without a warrant. Here we have a pair of Karens fighting with a ho fighting with a hostess on a plane. Our first time flying Spirit and this happened. <laughs> From the sounds of the announcement at the end of that clip, it turns out they're at the end of the flight. Like, you couldn't have just waited, like, the five to ten minutes it takes to get off the plane and then move on with your day. You just had to go off at the flight host there just for some forsaken reason. Like, you couldn't have just hold on a moment. Like, there's potentiality there might have been some racist interaction there. I'm not 100% sure because it gets a bit heated when the when those two women who are sitting down start responding very aggressively. I'm not 100% sure, but it's still one of those things. You're literally at the end of the flight. Why do you need to be like this now? It's like, it's, you could have just moved on, not worried about it, you're about to get off the plane anyway and probably never see this person again. First up, we've got a person who decided to uh, not pay for the nails that they've just gotten done at this nail salon. So the person who works there took an interesting approach in order to attempt to get their money's worth. Ma'am, take, help. Oh.
I mean, I, I have to commend the guy a little bit for just being that willing to go along with the car and that ride in that same way, but at the same time, that is also an absolutely catastrophically dumb idea. <laughs> Like, all it would have taken is if this person in the car was just a touch more aggressive with the reverse, like just slowly does it and then just whacks it a little bit and suddenly that person would be injured. Or when they're driving away, they just accelerate very aggressively and you get either just fall off the car and get mildly injured or you, you try to hold on and get yourself even more injured. It's genuinely just one of those things where... I get it. I understand why you're in this situation, why you're doing what you're doing, but at the same time, it's a very, very dumb move that is going to get yourself hurt. Like, at that point, just grab the license number of the car to let the police know that what just happened, and hopefully they'll do something? You can't make any guarantees though, so it's really just unfortunate. 